Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to take a look at subdevices and how to pair a new subdevice to the Mi Gateway. So let's go. At the moment of making this video, there's already a whole bunch of Zigbee enabled products from the Mi Home ecosystem that can be paired with the Gateway. To add a new subdevice, you must first have installed the Gateway unit in the Mi Home app. If you have the Gateway already set up, you can add a new subdevice either directly from the My Devices page or from the Gateway's Devices page. Here you can select Add Subdevice and select your subdevice from the list. If I want to set up this uh, wireless switch, I can select that here. The Gateway unit will actually tell me that I'm adding a new device. And I need to use a needle or a SIM card opener to press this very small button on the bottom of the switch to actually pair it with the Gateway. If it's successfully paired, you'll hear a sound on the Gateway unit and you're taken to that device's page. Most subdevices can only show you a log of its activity and they allow you to set up some automation rules like this uh, wireless switch. It can show me a log of when it was pressed and I can set up rules of what I want to happen when this button gets pressed. That's all. The same goes for this motion sensor, this uh, door sensor or this smoke detector for example. The temperature sensor can measure the humidity and the temperature in real time. So this actually has a layout that shows the temperature in a graph. The smart plugs and power sockets allow you to turn their power on and off remotely and they also show you the actual power usage in real time as well. And last but not least, the curtain controller has a layout that allows you to control your curtains from within the app. So you can see, depending on what type of device that you actually pair, the layout of that device might be slightly different depending on what that device actually does. You can pair up to 31 devices to a single gateway. This does not include the Wi-Fi enabled devices that are connected to your router. In the next video, we're gonna look at how to set up uh, the gateway as a home security alarm or a doorbell. And I've got some more tutorials on the gateway coming up soon as well. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon.